get straight into this. We are going to be talking about the Pocket 2. Now this is a camera that I've had for two years now and I've rarely used it. Barely, barely ever used it. I'm gonna get hit by a car here. And so here lately, I decided, you know what? I'm gonna give it a try. Because I was thinking about getting the ZV-E10 or the ZV-1. Definitely not looking at the ZV-1F. I don't even think that's worth it. Instead of doing that, let's see what this will do first. But before we get into that, I just wanna check and see if this replacement cache that I put up here the other day is actually still here. And yep, it's still there. All right, let's get back to the pocket too. I'm gonna to try to make this quick. It's a little bit nippy out. I'm actually using the DJI single receiver mic that they just brought out along with this. Let's see how it works. Uh, I'm hoping that it sounds okay. And I'm hoping that I'm actually recording here. So other than that, let's uh, go. I've got notes. I've got notes. I've actually got notes. But anyway, what happened was, is about a month ago, whoa, about a month ago, I wanted to do a Quick Cash Tuesday, which you can check out right here at this playlist. And I forgot my Action 2. I had the Pocket 2 in my bag. So I thought, well, what the heck? I might as well pull out the Pocket 2 and give it a try. I will say this, that it was a struggle. It was very tough. I know I messed up on a lot of things, had to redo it a couple different times. So it was something that definitely a learning curve for this camera. But now I've used it for probably, I don't know, three or four, maybe five different vlogs, Quick Cash Tuesdays and I'm getting a lot more used to it than what I was. All right, well, that's a little loud. All right, so what I want to do is go over things I dislike about this camera and then go over things that I really like about it. All right, so the first thing that it's definitely the screen size. For me, at 62, it's tough to see this screen. It kind of looks like a blur to me. I could get my old man glasses on and then I can see, I can see right there, I got it. So yeah, the screen size, it's tough. It's really, really hard to see what you're doing and keep yourself framed in there without constantly looking at it. So instead of looking at the camera, which I should be doing right here, I tend to look at that screen because I wanna be in this screen. I know you can hook it to a phone, but then you're taking away the whole point of this of being a pocket camera and being able to stick it in your pocket and going. That's the number one thing, small screen. Number two is battery life. And you have to admit though, the battery life on this thing is not the greatest. No replaceable battery on it. When you charge it, that's what you got. So we'll give that a real good run for its money today. We're gonna be walking down here by the river maybe even do some time lapses when we get down there. We'll actually see what this battery can do. Okay, number three is the normal color profile. I basically use these center lights, so I'm not that worried about that, but it would be nice to just put this in normal color profile and go out vlog and not have to worry about when I get back to make some adjustments or color grade or anything like that. And the last one is definitely that they put this camera out and they did a couple firmware updates and then basically forgot about it. You know, when I talked about the color profile, I mean, that would just be a firmware update. That's all that it would take. I don't understand why they put this camera out, they charged what they charged for it, and then turn around and just basically abandoned it. And instead of coming out with a firmware update, they came out with a white one uh, nobody needs a white one we wanted a firmware update we wanted something that would actually help this camera out all right let's get into some of the things that i actually like about this camera as much as i would love to see the gimbal have more flexibility to it it's still one of the main positives of this camera 
when you think about the size of this camera and the fact that it has a gimbal on it that can you know do all kinds of stuff like uh motion lapse and stuff like that i mean it's pretty amazing that they put a gimbal on this small of a camera. It was definitely a game changer when it first came out with the original Osmo Pocket, and now you have the Pocket 2. We'll see what they do with the Pocket 3. And then next thing is definitely the video quality of this camera. I'll tell you what, for the size of it, the size of the sensor, and everything that's involved with this camera, the video quality is pretty dang good. I mean, I know it's not gonna to compare to an A7S III and a full frame camera or even a crop sensor camera, but for what it is and what it does, it is really good. Let's face it, most people are watching on their phones. So this is gonna work and it's gonna look pretty dang good on your phone. And the next thing I like about this camera is definitely the portability of it. You can take it, turn it off, it'll fold up, put it in its case, and you can throw it in a backpack, you can throw it in your pocket, you can throw it just about anywhere. So the next thing I like about this is definitely the internal mics. Now today I am using the DJI wireless microphone setup. The internal mics on this work pretty dang good for what it is. And you do have some options there. You can just have the front facing one on or you can have all of them on. So there is some flexibility with the internal mics on this. And the last thing I want to say about this and why I like it, because I'll tell you what, with this DJI wireless mic and even a plug-in mic, this is one heck of a vlogging camera. I mean, it's not real heavy. I mean, I'm old and I've been holding it up this whole entire time. The footage is fairly smooth. I mean, it's not bad, bad. It's pretty easy to use once you learn it. And that's something that I had to do is actually learn this camera. And now that I've gotten used to this camera, it's become easier and easier to use. Right now I have it on tilt lock and I seem to like that the best because even if I kind of do something like that and go back and forth or whatever, it stays right on me. I don't like face detect because when it loses your face, that's it. Then it starts doing all kinds of goofy stuff hunts for you, looks for you, and it just looks, turns out to be a pretty bad video when that happens. So I pretty much keep the uh, face detect off and I stick with the tilt lock. If I'm doing some B-roll, I might change it to follow or maybe, eh, I rarely use the FPV. Well, that's it. That's all I got for you. Now, would I buy this camera in 2023? I think if they put it on sale, $150, $200 off, when they bring out the Pocket 3, I would definitely buy this camera at that point. Right now, at $499, I don't know if I'd buy it just for the simple fact that they no longer support it. They have not done a firmware update in it probably for what, a year and a half or something like that. Yeah, I, know, I can't say that I would definitely buy this at its current price of $4.99. If you could find it used, sure, why not? But I would definitely wait. They put out the Pocket 3 because I will wait for the Pocket 3 because you know what? As always with all these different types of cameras, like the Action 3, there's gonna be issues and there's gonna to be tons of firmware updates. So all you gotta do is wait for that to get done. And hopefully once they get the firmware updated and everything, then you can buy the Pocket 3. But if they bring this down a couple hundred dollars, like I said, I'd be on it in a heartbeat, no problem. So overall, this camera does a great job. You know, I have the anamorphic lens for this too with the ND filters. Maybe even do a vlog using that anamorphic lens. It's a little bit more work in post, but I think it might look pretty cool. So just remember right down there, like, subscribe to the channel. Truly do appreciate that. And as always, be safe out there. Take care. We will catch you next time.